Many parts of the brain can be affected in a migraine attack, which means a wide range of symptoms can occur. When brain circuits for balance are affected, a person will experience symptoms of dizziness, which is known as vestibular migraine. Your doctor might also call vestibular migraine, migraine-associated vertigo, or migranous vertigo. The vestibular system is in the inner ear and controls your balance and perception of movement. With vestibular migraine, there is a problem processing the turning and tilting signals in the brain, making patients very sensitive to motion. Most people with vestibular migraine have a lifetime history of motion sickness. This faulty processing can also impact vision signals from the eyes and motion signals from the inner ears, which is important to normal balance. Many people have difficulty when objects are flowing by, like when walking down a supermarket aisle or driving by a fence. The main symptoms of vestibular migraine include dizziness, vertigo, and difficulties with balance. Symptoms can also include nausea or vomiting, confusion, sensitivity to light or sound, ringing in the ears, and feeling of pressure in your ear. Symptoms may be short and frequent, long-lasting, or even continuous for weeks or months. It is important to know that you can have a vestibular migraine attack with or without a headache. Symptoms can be triggered by stress, weather, hormones, lack of sleep, dehydration, diet, and smoking. The treatment of vestibular migraine is the same as the treatment for frequent migraine attacks and relies on a combination of lifestyle changes and preventative medications. Stress reduction, hydration, regular exercise, healthy diet, and good sleep are essential for recovery in these patients. Some medications can be used to decrease or eliminate symptoms during attacks, such as triptans, anticholinergics, antihistamines, benzodiazepines, and anti-nausea drugs. Non-medicinal treatments like neuromodulation devices, cognitive behavioral therapy, vestibular physical therapy, and supplements like coenzyme Q10, magnesium, and riboflavin may also help. Other inner ear conditions like mini ears disease and benign paroxysmal positional vertigo have symptoms that overlap with vestibular migraine. This could be a cause for misdiagnosis. Additionally, people with vestibular migraine may also be living with more than one of these diseases. For these reasons, people with these symptoms should visit a specialist such as an ear, nose, and throat doctor or a neurotologist for the best chance of an accurate diagnosis. Learn more at migrainedisorders.org.